This is the story of simple ideas, of how seemingly simple ideas can transform institutions, of how the capacities latent in grassroots institutions can be channelized for common benefit. Collection, storage, transportation, extraction, it's a very tight window of 45 days. And we did that. 10,000 tons in one year. 11,500 tons in the second year. We collected, we extracted 800 tons of neem oil in the first year. So GNFC embarked on a process of backward integration while simultaneously creating values with a special focus on marginalized communities and rural poor, giving a special focus on empowerment of women by creating additional income generation opportunities for them and thereby improving their prospects of life. Gujarat has a population of 45 million neem trees, 4.5 crores of neem trees in Gujarat. We identified by way of density of neem trees, districts, talukas and villages. And we identified that 4,000 villages in 10 districts had high, high density of neem trees and therefore we utilized community structures, existing community structures like self-help groups, thousands of them, many cooperative societies, again thousands of them, other cooperative societies, all those community structures we enlisted and networked with and we created a large network of 2,500 collection centers and therefore storage, management and repacking, rebagging also has been a big challenge and it led to involvement of thousands of people and generation of employment, indirect employment of all those people and therefore extraction centers had to be identified in whole of Gujarat and there in those extraction centers, we got the neem oil. With the success of backward integration model, we embarked, we rolled out on a forward integration model. And the first thing that came to my mind was neem soap. That none of the neem soaps being sold today in Indian markets contains more than 3% of neem oil. So we decided, okay, we'll make a neem soap, but we'll change the composition. We'll really call it a neem soap because it has 21% of neem oil. What is in a soap? That which is being sold as a neem soap will not be as beneficial as Gujarat Narmada neem soap. So ladies and gentlemen, this forward integration we did and we are not stopping at that. We are in the process of uh, developing Neem shampoo, neem hand wash, neem organic pesticide. And mind you, in a couple of months from now, we might also enter the market with a neem mosquito repellent. Eight lakh mahila unko. Char hazar se saat hazar rupay tak ki masik aye. Jo unki apni आमदनी के बाद की आमदनी थी वो मिली। UNDP has conducted very recently a survey and they have come out with very very encouraging findings. They have said that 40 percent of women they have increased their economic decision making within their households. 99 percent of women they have said that they are happy being associated with this project and they're looking forward for next season. And 13% of women have said that after the project generated income for them, the incidence of domestic violence in their homes has reduced. The government of India, very recently, this very precincts, it directed all the fertilizer companies in the country to adopt and implement the new project. The reason is very simple. Ladies and gentlemen, we are standing at the cusp of a neem revolution in the country. And if the whole model is implemented in the country by all the fertilizer companies, it has the potential of generating employment to more than 6 million women all over the country.
generating income of anything between 1,000 crores to 2,000 crores to these babies. So therefore, the only need of the hour is all the fertilizer companies get together, join hands, implement the neem project in the neem season in a tight window of just 45 days. And ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you, this neem project will bring smile on so many million faces.